Thank you, ladies. Let's take you to our last pick'em game in a big game battle of great quarterbacks. Clark Ashmore and the Wellington Skyrockets. This guy, Tyler Hall and the Panhandle Panthers. A but the Wellington ball. defense on a nice defensive play. We didn't have number 22 on the roster, but a fantastic play either way. Then Terry Gilbreth, you know, he's, you know, all district, all state potential kind of running back as well. Long touchdown there. Two-point conversion <laughs> would be good. Nice try to push him down and a great center of balance by Gilbreth to stay up. Makes it eight to nothing Wellington. We continue, Clark Ashmore. He's picked off. What a play, Tanner Barnett, the big man, play of the week candidate. They're going to love that down in Panther country. So Tyler Hall gets a chance. He keeps it himself. He can sling it and he can run it. Get off me for the short touchdown. That makes it 8-7. to seven. But Wellington looking impressive again. Winners over Panhandle, 42-24. to 24. And now as we come back here, we want to update you on our pick up, uh, pick em standings and you can see this is after two weeks of action. So we've got a two-way tie at the top between Clint and Lance Lawner to the Emerald Globe News, then myself, Matt, and Phil Woodall bringing up the rear tied for second. Hey, it doesn't sound as bad when you say we're tied for second. We're also in last. Four and two either way. How about the fans? Where do they second sit? Second sounds better. Four and two. You can join us, we'll fans. We'll put the fans in last. No shame. No shame, fans. We want to invite everybody next week, newschannel10wrapup.com. You can get involved in our Pick'em Challenge. Vote on the three games. We'll select it early on Monday and get that up for you. Now let's continue with the action. Vega knocking off Clarendon in Class 1A. 29-20 to 20 is your final there. Let's go to Crosby 10 and Memphis. Memphis with some great uniforms mimicking the old school Missouri Tigers look. Third quarter tied at seven. Elliott Rios for Crosby 10 with a nice run on the ground. Not in the air. Then later in the third, same score. Crosby 10 to Austin Moreno, a short touchdown pass to Isaiah Hen. 14-7, Crosby 10 in the lead. Well, then later, same score. Zach Altman heaves one up. Nice catch by Cade Byers. But Crosby 10 better in this one by a touchdown. They get the win by a final of 28 to 21. Alton taking on Farwell. Thought we had the video. I got a shot sheet for it, but we'll show you the score. Farwell gets the win by a final of 20 to six. Some more scores for you. Floyd Data and San Jacinto, the whirlwinds knock off the Patriots 62 to 10. Shamrock and West Texas High, thank you for a caller for correcting us on this one. The Fighting Irish get the win over the Comanches 21 to seven. Claude and Booker, Hunter Lyle, 62 to 13 winners over the Claude Mustangs. Texoma and Gruber, big win for the Greyhounds. Texoma seems like forever since they lost a game, but Gruber gets the win 14 to eight. Miles and Quana will play on Saturday. Let's go into some six man action. Fort Elliott and Miami. We do not have. There it is, 58 to eight. Fort Elliott, winners over Miami. How about that, Matt? The Cougars, your big winner in that game. Yeah, they just got their football program back. Not bad. LaForce taking on Headley. We don't have a shot sheet, but we got some highlights. Number 40 on the ground, around the right side. Bouncing off tacklers. Finally brought down a nice run by the Owls on the ground. Then more Owls taking flight as number five says, get off me. A nice gain on the ground. Then more Headley offense. Number 40 again, a la Mike Allstott. Spoke too soon as he's brought down, then more all stop look like as he goes into the end zone for a touchdown. We'll show you the score in this one. LaForge gets the win by a final 42 to 8. Valley taking on Happy. 3rd quarter, 30 to 14 in this one. Third down, long to go. Catch Smith rolls out and Deep pass to Barrett Bland for the first down. The next play, Smith going to toss to Keenan Farrell. He's going to go in for the touchdown. Kick is good. Then some happy this time. Cameron Reyes. He's running around. He's looking deep. Way deep. Colton Flat on the reception. Cowboys will get stopped on downs. Then on the next drive, Zach Flat for the touchdown. Valley. Up 44-14 at that point. They go on to get the win by a final of 46-14. Let's go to Paducah and Meta. 
Trey Herrera for Meta to Mason Davila for the touchdown. And then Paducah fighting right back. Marcus Cruz to Oscar Mathis. Mathis takes it up the field all the way into the end zone for the touchdown, but Meta is your winner on this night. 36 to 26, your final. More scores for you, Laz Buddy in Hart in action. And they'll, uh, we didn't get a score on that one, so Laz Buddy and Hart fans, please let us know. How about Groom and McLean, a battle of the Tigers, and it's Cat Quick, Tiger Tough Groom on top of McLean, 46 to nothing. Petersburg and Naz, 53-8. The Buffaloes over the Swifts. White Deer, Follette. Follette, your winner, 62-6 in Southland and Silverton. Southland, 54-12 winners over the Owls. Matt, we've got awards time coming up, and we have crossed the borders. Yep, we got to go to Oklahoma. we got to go to New Mexico. Our favorite time of the week with your reward, or rewards, awards. Uh, so be sure and stick with us right here on the wrap-up. We'll be right back in just a short moment.